Hi there, this is Anne Business with your friend Simeon. This is Etten Pond and I want to teach you how to prepare it. Now I'm using, you know, there are different chemicals we use to prepare our Etten Pond. And before you prepare, there are some kind of preparation you make inside the pond. Like some things you need to do before you prepare your Etten Pond. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever time I drop a new video for you. This channel is created to help you, you know, make profit in all your animal business. That is why I call it an a business. If you want to sell your fish, you want to sell your animal, you want to sell or you want to buy any kind of uh, animal breed, whatever things you want to buy that is pertaining to this livestock business, you can actually hit me up with this number. I have smoked fish. If you are interested, to buy if you buy smoke fish and sell i still have some cartons of smoke fish that i'm selling out you can just dm send me a message on whatsapp or you call me direct with the number you are seeing on the screen and let's negotiate about the price now i want to teach you how to prepare your etting pond but the first thing you need to do when you dig your pond you know when the pond is fresh there is not going to be mulch or any other thing the pond is going to be fresh everything will be fresh then i advise you there are different ways you can do there are different things you can do to prepare the pond number one you can get feces from the poultry feces normal feces i'm not talking about um only sawdust i'm talking about normal feces and if you can see uh, sawdust mixed with a lot of uh the feces the poo from the chicken it is very very okay too or you get the natural one from the battery cage you tied it up in the sack inside the sack this one is old-fashioned people are no longer doing it like before so you tie it like that then you put it in you soak it inside your water your eating pond water new pond so with that the fish is going to fertilize the water for just a week is enough then you put your fish inside and when you put your fish inside don't forget to use salt to sprinkle on top of the water so that too is number one number two if you don't use the first idea you can use this easy idea you go to where they sell lime lime is a soluble white powder is a chemical after you buy lime you come to your pond a pond that is big like this should take up to two lime two or one and a half up if you don't have much money you can buy one this is actually 30 feet by 60 feet long and the pond is almost five let me say five feet plus deep that is the size and the depth of the pond so you should think of using two bags of lime so you use the lime you sprinkle it on the floor and all the side of the this thing but don't let it reach where you think the water won't reach let it reach where the water will reach and it will quickly mix with the water after it's mixed with the water it will dissolve and do the work you want to do within one week then you can stock your fish number two number three which is the best one is the one i'm teaching you right now at my side here i have formalin chemical this is a whole keg and i'm not using this keg to prepare this whole pond this keg is actually uh, 30 kg so i have a lot of pond that i want to prepare for someone this farm belongs to someone so i'm here to prepare it for the person so but this pond they have already used it before the first preparation you don't need to apply it to a pond that you've been using before the second preparation can be applied to a pond you've been using before and the one you have not used before same way this formalin chemical too can be applied to fresh pond and it can be applied to pond you've been using before so this is how you are going to do first of all you do the modding you pack all the mud this is what we call mud you see so you pack all the mud after you pack out all the mud your pond is clean like this if i should walk inside there is no much mud is the mud is just under my foot you know this is ground there's no how you want to pack all the sand out so they do the mud the modding and they do the sandbag of some areas that are breaking so they correct all the necessary errors all the breakage in the pond and whatever thing that have happened in the pond that you don't really like with the pond so they do that after they do that that is when you are going to use your formalin chemical after you apply your formalin chemical then you do the netting i will actually teach you how to net your pond too i will do it all the same you are going to see it in another video though so 
that is what I'm here to do. What is the essence of using this uh, formalin chemical? Formalin chemical will neutralize all bacteria or any disease that is inside your pond. That is the work it does the most. And when you want to do it like this, if you have water inside your pond, make sure to pump out all the water. If I should walk inside this place now, the water is not more than down there. This place, there's no water here, where I am standing. So if you are to walk down there, the water that will be there won't be, won't be up to a half feet. That will give the formalin chemical enough power to be effective. It will make it to be more effective. But if the water is much, it won't work. You know, we are using it to prepare the pond. You are not using it to treat your fish. So preparation is just to neutralize, like I told you, any bacteria, any ammonia, or anything that is inside the pond that might likely affect your fish whenever time you stop them. That is the purpose for using this formalin, and that is what I'm going to do it now. So how are you going to do it? Before you open your formalin, if you buy it, formalin is a white color, you're going to see the color. I'll show you the color. If you buy your formalin, it may be inside two liter keg, it may be five liter, maybe 10 liter, but this is the highest volume in the market. The amount is between 30 to 35,000 right, depending on your location. Before you open your formalin, there are some things you need to do. If you are not healthy enough, this chemical is very, very strong. They make a kind of image, you wash your hand after use, you do this. So, I will advise you best if you want to use formalin. Although there are some diluted formalin that if you buy in the market, you won't have the feelings that you buy formalin. But when you get original formalin like this, the first thing you need to do is to get your nose marks. Especially if you are not healthy like me. Unlike me, I'm, I'm healthy and I'm okay and I can still bear the, uh, the smell that will come out from the uh, formalin. So I can bear it. Number one, you use your nose marks before you open your formalin. Number two, make sure you wear your hand glove before you use your formalin. And whenever time you are done, wash your body immediately. Four, don't take your eyes close to the formalin. If you open it immediately and you take your eyes close to this formalin chemical, it's going to affect your eyes like you are going to start crying. The water will be coming out of your eye because the chemical is a very, very bad chemical. So, Adhere to all these rules whenever time you want to use your formalin so that you can be on a safer side. Now let me take out the formalin so that you can see the color and see how I do it. Ah, this is just to sprinkle it on the uh, pond and all the side. Of the now this is the chemical, so I want to open. The smell is not good for your health. If you are not strong enough, please don't take your nose close to this. Thing. and don't let your eyes get close to it immediately you are going to be bringing out tears like i told you if you get original one more. now you can see the color let me show you the color right here see you see it you can see it you see the color it's a white just white water a very clean one and it's a chemical you can see it inside so that is the color of the formalin as i'm mixing it now it's already affecting me right here so that is just it then if you want to do you sprinkle it like this you see all the disease whatever in your pond everything will go same way if you want to if you have your fish inside and you want to treat the fish if they are having disease you apply the same system Like this point, five liters of uh, chemical of this chemical will be enough. Like five liters. Although I'm a practical uh, catfish farmer, so I know the range. I don't. I know what should be put inside this thing, so I don't do measurement. So, but five liters, six liters is enough for this pond. <music>
applying this chemical. Later on, when I stuck the fish inside, I will still use salt as a second treatment for the fish. I believe now you should have learned how to prepare your pond. I told you the different ways you can prepare it already. You use salt, use the formalin, use feces, and use the lime this thing all together to treat your fish pond before you stop your fish. Thank you so much for viewing.